But it's, it, it's important to see that within this reality, they're all in. And that's part of, that's part of the creation of the two-tiered system. It's part of the creation of, of needing to split apart the ones who aren't going to go along with this and demonize the particular group that's not going to that's not going to follow the rules that's not going to do what they're told because you need to you need to make them more and more look more and more dangerous to everyone else so that when you eliminate them the rest of the population is saying great this is fantastic you know read any article now that's discussing what to do with the group who's not following the rules and just you know Change, change the wording a little bit so it's, it's, uh, it's what you would read in Georgia in the 1950s or what you would read in, in uh, the Soviet Union or Germany in the 1930s. Just change the words and that's, that's where we're at. And we know how those stories played out. We, we know what those stories were like. And we know even though things are, are better in the U.S. South, they're still not great. I mean, I, I still... <laughs> Growing up, growing up black in the southern United States is not a wonderful experience. You know, is it okay? Is it better than it was in 1955? Yeah, okay, but it's still not. It's it's, it's still not optimal. <laughs> it's still not an optimal experience. And that's for anyone who knows their history. Just look at what happened in the 1960s in order just to create that the unbelievable uprising and chaos and mess and push and, and uh, philosophical presentations and everything else that had to happen for 10 or 15 years just to get that change, to change where we are, given that the governments are not going to back down in any way, shape, or form, you know, you, you, better, you better really realize what's going on. I, I, I'm saying this because if you're... And I don't want to destroy people's hope because in a lot of cases, hope is what keeps people living for another day. When If you run out of hope, it's like, well, why get out of bed? I might as well just end it, you know. And I'm not saying that. There's Because I'm, I'm trying to tell you, there, there's gifts in this experience, right? That's, that's the point of what I was saying earlier. There's gifts here, but the gifts are individual. The gifts are for you. It's not for the realm. It's not for people. And the end result of all this could be some massive, shocking overturning of the whole thing, but it'll be messy. You know, now we've got the now we got the prospect of a world war dropped on top of us as well. As if you know, all of this craziness isn't enough. Let let's drop the possibility of you know an actual nuclear war on top of this, and uh, let's see how the population handles that. How it's me- how, you know a mentally semi broken population already is now going to start dealing with this along with the food shortages, which is going to, that's going to start affecting people's minds really, really soon. But I'll give you an example of how crazy this is. There was a, like a document, travel documentary that was on yesterday. Um, and the person was traveling to a place in England that dealt with the plague in the 1600s. And the people who were in the village were talking about how exactly the same our current situation is to when they had the plague. Now, and, and these are people who are knowledgeable of that time. They're like, you know, the local historians supposedly keeping the history alive of the 1600s in this in this area, and they think this is equal to the Black Plague. At least, now, I don't know what the Black Plague really was. I don't know if it happened. I don't know what the story was. You know, there's lots of... We could have a huge discussion on the Black Plague and because and, there's a lot of questions as to what was really going on there or not. There's, that's a really strange time when you, if you don't believe the narrative instantaneously. But if you take the narrative at face value, which these people are, they think it's the same. Like, that is telling you, again, how far down the slope the average person is. The average person, the average person is all in with, with the people, with the influencers. Like they're, 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 they're they've pushed their chips in with them, in a way. They've actually, you, you this, again, you've got to get this. All of these people, we're talking like 
5 billion people of the planet have pushed their chips in along with the controlling factors. The, yeah, the pot is huge. <laughs> if, if the 2 billion of us on this side ever wind up winning, well, who are, how many of us will be left, you know, 2 billion probably won't make it to the end, but however many of us would make it to the end, if we actually, if, if the hand could be finished and played out, you know, our hand and our hand could win, the, the 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 spoils would be would be an unbelievable win, right? It'd be a massive victory. But you're talking about you're talking about you we're we're really at this point outnumbered. You're outnumbered. And we have to take all that into consideration as well. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't mean don't do what you're doing, don't focus on what you're doing. You, you know what's right for you, what you need to do, what's what's what is the what is the right way going forward? I'm just trying to tell you that don't expect you're going to wake up on May the 10th and everything's going to be fine and wonderful and, you know, everybody has kind of said, oh, gee, sorry, we made a bit of a mistake. Uh, please forgive us. Ha, ha, ha. Here's a free donut for everybody. Let's go back and have fun. And no, no. This is going to get progressively nuttier. I can't, I mean, the Olympics are supposed to happen. The Winter Olympics are supposed to happen next month. I can't believe they're going to happen. I can't possibly believe there's going to be a Winter Olympics in 30 days. If it starts, that'll be chaos in itself, you know. And is there going to be, is, is a war actually going to get created on top of this? I would put it at 50%, 50-50 right now. That's, that's how high I would put it because, again, it's another great way of throwing another giant wrench into the psychological problems of people. It's another reason to... Remember, all of this craziness started at the end of 2019. What was happening in 2019? The Yellow Vest movement in France was getting to the point where it was creating serious concern. The people running the show there were really worried that, like, they were close to the storming of the Bastille and a new French Revolution. All of a sudden, you have this. No one can leave their home. Yellow Vest protests stopped. Done. Right? Now, you have something like this, which is, I mean, things are picking up around the world. The, the, the push is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And all you need is something like a giant world war, and that would, that would stop. So I'm just making sure you've got all this in the back of your mind so that you are, you're not, good, so that you're not surprised if something happens, and you can try to use it however you can to your own advantage. That's, again, how do you use this time for your own evolution? You can't save the planet. You can't save everybody. You might be able to save or help one or two close friends, but even then, that's pushing it. You know, your number one focus is yourself. Your number two focus is anyone who is close to you, who is on the, is on the same page, and they're your, your they're like your um, you know your friends in in um, your friends in walking this path. The rest. You know they're all in. They're all in, and they're they're not gonna they're not gonna listen to any advice on their hands now, and, and they can't because even if they could look even that's the thing even if you you know looked at their hands and you know you've only got a pair of threes you, you probably don't want to go in go all in with all this it's too late they can't and they know they can't pull out now they can't they're they're in and they can't pull out so this is going to be. We're gonna. See, this is gonna. This is going to the end one way or another. It it can't be stopped until it reaches the end. I don't know what the end is going to be. I don't know if the end is going to be. Whoever's left here is yeah. Neo in the Matrix, in the pod, in virtual reality. That's, a, that's a serious possibility. Or if we will actually see the uprising of all time, or if we will see a third surprise that nobody is expecting on the surface and the dice get rolled and the, you know but it's go it's going to reach the end this 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 scenario can't stop halfway through it just can't and and that's another important point i think everyone watching this channel should understand that at least it's it's going to the end one way or another and and you need to be one way or another mentally ready for that. Mentally ready for mentally ready for the continuation.